हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड न्यूमेरिकल एग्जांपल्स वी आर डीलिंग विद डिजाइन ऑफ स्टील स्ट्रक्चर्स थर्ड ईयर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग माय सेल्फ सुधीर बी गाय के असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर संजीवनी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोपरगाव सो इन द प्रीवियस फ्यू वीडियोज वी हैव सीन इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्टील स्ट्रक्चर टाइप्स ऑफ रोल्स सेक्शन अवेलेबल classification of cross sections what are the advantages disadvantages of steel structures so in this particular video we are going to deal with classification of cross section and numerical examples so as per the previous video we have seen that concrete sections are solid sections and rolled sections are combination of plate elements so in the given figure you can understand that a cross section of roll section is subjected to loading similarly a solid concrete section is also subjected to certain amount of compressive loading so in case of box column or in case of solid rcc column entire cross section will be subjected to certain deformation while in case of i section initially flange element wave element or bottom side flange element will be subjected to certain deformation so in short all the structural rolled sections are buckling individually or locally so as these are plate elements uh, plate elements uh, cross sections and they are buckling locally because of compressive stresses so the local buckling can be avoided before the limit state is achieved by limiting the width to thickness ratio of each element of cross section now this width to thickness ratio is given in table number 2 and this is based on different type of element so usually for our design philosophies we have seen in case of limit state method plastic analysis is used so in case of plastic analysis the member shall be capable of forming plastic hinges and should have sufficient rotation capacity so this rotation capacity is nothing but it is the property of steel that is ductility where the deformation is observed so without any kind of local buckling and there is redistribution of bending moments so in elastic analysis the requirement minimum requirement is the section should be capable of developing yield stresses so these are the two types of basic classification adopted in case of design that is first class the first case that is plastic section and second case that is your compact sections so in the next slide these are the four classes of cross sections they are named as either class 1 2 3 4 or they are termed as plastic compact semi compact and slender based on their behavior so initially class 1 that is plastic section these sections are having or these sections can develop plastic hinges and has rotation capacity required for the failure of structure by formation of plastic mechanism so here rotation capacity is possible only in case of plastic section and for limit state method of design plastic analysis is used where class 1 sections or plastic sections are adopted in case of class 2 that is compact section the cross section which can develop plastic moment of resistance but it has inadequate plastic hinge rotation capacity so this is the second point or second classification that is compact section so it can uh, take load up to plastic moment but does not have rotation capacity in case of class 3 or it is semi compact section so cross section in which extreme fibers in the compression can reach yield stresses but cannot develop plastic moment of resistance so this is the third type and usually semi compact and fourth class 4 slender sections are not adopted now in case of slender section cross sections in which element can buckle locally even before reaching the yield stresses so again in the previous video we have also seen bending stress distribution for these four classes and our observation was for plastic and compact section a rectangular type of bending stress distribution is there while for class 3 and class 4 that is semi compact and uh, slender rectangular type of bending stress distribution is there now for a particular cross section we have seen that it is a combination of different element and every element may be in different class so therefore in order to decide the class of section one note is given at the bottom that is when different elements of a cross section fall under different categories or different classes the section shall be classified as governed by the most critical element so that is also mentioned in your code that out of the all three or four elements for deciding the class of section most critical element is to be considered so for example 
if flange element is semi compact and wave element is plastic in that cases the section should be treated as semi compact section that is critical section is to be considered for the uh, deciding factor now next slide we'll see so these are the different dimensions of section and this is as per figure number 2 page number 19 of is 800 2007 here all the sections are given and their geometrical properties are mentioned for example if you consider example of rolled section or rolled i section so dimension required are thickness of flange thickness of web half of the width of flange and depth of the section so likewise for channel section values are given for angle section t section again built up sections are also given and again compound elements so this compound elements are nothing but these are combinations of rolled section and certain plate elements are added to it so in case of any compound element two types of elements are to be considered so internal element and external element so bi stands for internal element and be stands for external element so this is as per figure number 2 in is 800 and this is table number 2 of is 800 which is mentioned on page number 18 of is 800 2007 so here the entire table is given so intentionally i have underlined some of the important properties by red color so initially our or we are going to deal with outstanding element of a compression flange for rolled section so values for rolled section i have highlighted with the help of red color then same is the case in case of your wave section or wave of an i section when neutral axis has mid depth that is the second red color line the next is wave of a channel section and lastly i have shown one angle section property so that is combining or considering all the three properties in case of your angle sections so this table table number 2 from page number 18 is 800 2007 is to be adapted in order to classify the section so in the numerical example we will understand what is the method that is to be adapted to classify the section so for that page number 18 and page number 19 are required so page 18 to understand the classes and page 19 to understand the dimensions of the rolled sections so this is the simple numerical example we are going to discuss here so the numerical example is classify the following sections using yield stress value or mild steel fy is equal to 250 mpa so this is the given data and for which sections are given first type of section is ishb 400 at the rate 77.4 kg per meter so in the very second second lecture or third lecture we have discussed that what is ishb that is indian standard heavy weight beam and this 400 stands for total depth of section at the rate 77.4 kg per meter is nothing but it is the unit weight of ishb 400 so if we consider 1 meter length of ishb 400 it will be weighing 77.4 kg so likewise second section is an channel section indian standard medium medium weight channel and third is indian standard angle section so from the digits 150 150 12 you can understand that 150 150 is a equal figure therefore it is a equal angle section so all the three sections with its unit weight it is mentioned here so starting with the first type indian standard heavy weight beam 400 so initially you have from steel table or is 808 you have to copy all the properties of section so uh, that figure i am show i have shown here properties required are nothing but total depth of section that is mentioned as 400 that is given in the problem width of flange bf value that is given as 250 thickness of flange 12.7 thickness of web 9.1 and radius at root r1 value is given as 14 mm all these properties i have taken from steel table or is 808 so purposefully in the figure dimensions are shown and these dimensions are re are required for the calculation or classifying your section so using all these properties in the figure you can understand that when you need to classify a web section small d value is mentioned correct and in steel table we are given with small h value that is overall depth of section 400 using overall depth of section you need to calculate d value now this d value is calculated by a simple formula that formula is nothing but you need to reduce the thickness of flange and radius at root r1 value twice we are deducting it twice because two flanges and two radius of roots are there so in the formula you can see h1 is given as d h1 is equal to d equals to total depth of section minus two times of thickness of flange plus radius at root so here in the figure given data 400 is the depth 
ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवन इज थिकनेस ऑफ फ्लैंज एंड रेडियस एट रूट इज फोर्टीन सो दिस कम्बाइन इक्वल्स टू थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर जीरो एम एम सो डी वैल्यू इज थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स करेक्ट अगेन इप्सिलॉन वैल्यू दैट इज गिवन एज टू फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाई एफ एंड दैट इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू वन एज माइल्ड स्टील इज यूज फॉर डिजाइन पर्पज करेक्ट ना अगेन इन द प्रीवियस टेबल वी कैन सी दैट हियर फॉर क्लासिफाइंग अ रोल्ड सेक्शन फ्लैंज आउटस्टैंडिंग इलेमेंट ऑफ कॉम्प्रेशन फ्लैंज यू आर रिक्वायरिंग वैल्यू बी डिवाइडेड बाई टी एफ यू आर रिक्वायरिंग वैल्यू बी डिवाइडेड बाई टी एफ सो दैट इज नथिंग बट बी वैल्यू इज गिवन इन द फिगर हियर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट बी वैल्यू इट इज एक्जैक्टली हाफ ऑफ द विड्थ ऑफ फ्लैंज बी वैल्यू इज एक्जैक्टली हाफ ऑफ द विड्थ ऑफ फ्लैंज सो आई एम राइटिंग बी इक्वल्स टू बी एफ डिवाइडेड बाई टू दैट इज नथिंग बट टू फिफ्टी बाई टू इक्वल्स टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम so outstanding element of compression flange b by tf equals to that is half of the width of flange divided by thickness of flange we are getting value 9.84 epsilon the answer is 9.4 epsilon now going back to your table and comparing the value our value is 9.84 now in class 1 plastic your maximum ratio is 9.4 epsilon and in class 2 compact section your maximum value should be 10.5 epsilon so our value is ranging between 9.4 and 10.5 epsilon so in short as our value is greater than 9.4 and it is less than 10.5 so the class of the section will be compact section correct i am repeating that our value or our ratio is 9.84 Correct, and that is ranging between 9.4 plastic section and 10.5 compact section. So as it is greater than 9.4 and less than 10.5, it is a compact type of section. So here our ratio is 9.4 epsilon. Correct. So it is greater than 9.9.84. Uh, so therefore it is greater than 9.4 9.4 epsilon and less than 10.5 epsilon. Therefore it is a compact type of section. now in case of wave of an i section wave of an i section we are requiring wave of an i section neutral axis at mid depth so ratio is d divided by tw so ratio is d divided by tw so for that value d by tw equals to 346.40 divided by 9.1 and we are getting value 38.065 epsilon which is again less than 84 epsilon therefore your wave is plastic Now, as per our discussion or assumption, when different elements are classified into two different categories, most critical section is to be considered. Now, comparing plastic and compact, the critical is compact section. Therefore, the classification of this ISHB four hundred will be compact section. Now, going towards second ISMC three hundred. so again copying all the properties from steel table for ismc 300 at the rate 35.8 kg per meter so total depth h is 300 width of flange 90 thickness of flange 13.6 thickness of web 7.6 and r1 radius at root is 13 mm similarly you calculate d value by deducting two times thickness of flange and radius at root again epsilon value is 1 and here as it is a channel section For channel section, need not divide width of flange by two value, because for I section flange is overhanging from both the sides. For channel section, it is overhang only on one side, and that is directly equal to B value. Therefore, B F by two is not required for channel section. That was required for I sections. So here, calculating outstanding element of compression flange B divided by T F. 90 divided by 13.6 you are getting value 6.61 epsilon and again it is less than 9.4 therefore it is a plastic section getting because plastic section maximum value is 9.4 and here it is less than 9.4 therefore it is a plastic type of flange so flange is plastic now second again it will be neutral axis at mid depth d divided by tw ratio d we have calculated here 246.8 So 246.8 divided by 7.6, that is thickness of web. You are getting value 32.47 epsilon, and again it is less than 40. Again it is less than 42 epsilon. It is less than 42 epsilon. You can see in the table for web of a channel section, value is 42.42 epsilon. So we are getting value as. 
32.47 epsilon and which is less than 42 epsilon therefore both the classification is plastic that is flange is plastic and again wave is plastic therefore you can define that ismc 300 at the rate 35.8 is a plastic section so in the previous i section two different elements were there in different classes therefore we have considered critical class and compact was the critical class now going towards your third category that is angle section here it is given it is a equal angle section 150 150 12 at the rate 27.2 kg per meter so again from the table you are requiring three values here so first vertical depth as d and horizontal width as b value so b by t that is 150 divided by thickness of angle you are getting 10.5 so this value is less than 12.5 10.5 value is less than 12.5 and again it is less than 15.7 also so as per the table it is in semi compact region similarly d by t w again and b plus d whole divided by t so that is equal to 25 epsilon and it is exactly equal to the given or limiting value 10 25 epsilon therefore all the properties are in the range of semi compact section therefore you can classify this angle section as semi compact you will see the table standard table is mentioning all the values so b by t d by t and b plus d divided by t so that is equal to 57.e epsilon 15.7 epsilon sorry and 25 epsilon so as all the values are less than that class so that class 3 that is nothing but semi compact so here the third section that is indian standard equal angle is 150 150 12 is a semi compact section so hope you have got idea how to classify a section two basic steps you need to remember for a given section you just copy down all the properties from steel table and based on table number two and figure number two of is 800 2007 calculate just the ratios and that ratios are to be matched in this table number two to classify the section as different element will be in different classes for that cases you need to just consider the critical case so higher side case is to be considered as class of the section so before designing of any cross section after selecting the section from steel table for required section modulus or required area initially the section is to be classified according to these categories and for limit state of design only plastic section and compact sections are allowed so thank you thank you very much in the next lecture we are going to start with design of connections thank you thank you very much